Welcome, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jen Hillman, and today I invite you to roll out your mat and follow along with me in this replay of my live yoga class, a part of the pain relief series, focusing on full body integration. So go ahead and like this video, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And when you're all set, go ahead and roll out your mat and let's get ready to flow. We'll begin our practice sitting in a nice, comfortable seat. So you can make yourself comfortable however that feels good to you. You can sit on a blanket or a cushion or sit on a block. And I do encourage you to grab any yoga props that assist you in your practice. You know, having those extra props available can really help to enhance the experience of your practice. So it's good to have everything handy as you settle into your mat. And once you get comfortable, we'll begin to turn your awareness inward. If it's helpful, you can begin to close your eyes tuning out any visual distractions so that you can truly begin to look inward. And the first thing we begin to notice is the rhythmic flow of your breathing. So turning your attention to your breath, you may notice that your breathing automatically starts to deepen simply by observing. So let yourself tune in here, deepening and expanding the flow of your breath. Notice how the attention on your breath helps to bring you into the present moment. So it doesn't really matter what's going on in your world. It doesn't matter what happened earlier today or what lies await for you after this practice. what is here and now is your body and your breath and this time that you have carved out to take care of yourself. So bring your hands together at your heart and we'll begin by acknowledging ourselves in the practice. So take this moment to just thank yourself for showing up. Thank yourself for prioritizing this time, for making it happen for yourself. And make an agreement with yourself to listen to your body, to respect the boundaries, and to nurture yourself through this practice. Take a deep, full breath in, just breathing the fullness of that intention and as you exhale, let it ground into the earth. And we fully arrive. And interlace your fingers and extend your palms forward in front of you. Scooping your belly button in, tuck your chin to your chest and round through your spine. Leaning back, we begin to stretch through the back body. 
and on your inhale begin to lift up sitting up tall stretch your arms up overhead pressing your palms towards the sky then gently release your hands and let them circle down and around so we interlace your hands behind you squeezing the palms together begin to roll your shoulders onto your back and gently curl your heart open towards the sky and slowly release back to center gently coming back to your neutral seat then we'll move through that cycle again interlacing your fingers in front of you exhale your breath as you press the palms forward and round through your spine then on your inhale we'll sit up nice and tall lifting up out of your waist stretch your hands towards the sky then exhale and gently release circling the arms down and around we'll interlace your fingers behind you and as you inhale here we roll the shoulders back and lift through your heart and chest and exhale and slowly release back to center and we'll sweep your left hand across to your right knee slowly begin to work your way into a twist pressing against the earth as you press against that knee gently working to rotate your heart around getting a nice good rotation in the spine then maintaining this twist slowly start to roll your head right and left so we look to the left roll your chin down and look to the right and look the other way so we're just rocking the head side to side a couple of different times mobilizing through the neck then slowly make your way back to center let your hands relax down onto your knees sitting up nice and tall take a deep breath in and as you exhale begin to make your way towards the twist on the second side reaching that right hand to the left knee as you inhale lift up through your spine sitting up tall and as you exhale you work yourself deeper into that twist finding a good deep rotation in the spine then we'll incorporate the movement of your head gently rolling your chin to your chest and over to the right shoulder and we go the other way rolling down through center and looking all the way to the left so just exploring that movement isolating the neck and the head as you continue to roll your spine towards that left side and we'll slowly release yourself back to center letting your hands relax you can take a full round of breath and let's bring in a little bit of full circle head rolls just letting your head make giant circles stretching out the neck loosening the spaces between your vertebrae and when you're ready you can reverse directions letting your head circle the other way getting a nice rotation notice how it feels enjoying the movement and slowly making your way back to center and we're going to go ahead and transition into your tabletop coming into your hands and knees we're going to start to warm up your spine a little bit more so as you find your way into this tabletop let's just start with a few rounds of cat and cow let yourself flow with the rhythm of your own breath so it doesn't matter quite how fast or how slow you move but rather allow yourself to explore the depth of the movement and really tune into the sensation in your body 
tapping into those areas that are tight, tapping into those areas that want to stretch. Then we can take it into even bigger movements. We can start to wag your tail side to side, roll your head around. Just let yourself begin to move in any direction that your body calls to you. So we release judgment or expectation. Just allow yourself to feel. Just tuning into that feeling self. Tapping into your body, feeling the breath and the movement. And slowly begin to draw yourself back to center. There's no rush. Just let the movement organically come to a close, making your way back, <clears throat> back to center in this tabletop. We're gonna inhale and open your right fingertips to the sky. So we open your heart to the right in a nice deep twist. And as you exhale, we'll weave that right arm under, bringing your shoulder all the way down. Then press your left hand into the mat rolling the left shoulder back. We deepen the rotation in your spine. Now, today I'm gonna to offer you a fun, playful option. You don't have to take it, but you can try if you're feeling experimental. So from this twist, we're gonna lean your weight towards that right side and see if you can step your left foot off to the left side rolling the sole of your left foot down to the floor. So we plant the left foot down, extending your leg out. You're gonna to start to feel some stretch moving down the length of that left leg. As you press your left hand into the mat, we can roll your heart open and reach those right fingertips across. And when you're ready, we'll slowly come back to center. So we'll start by bringing the left leg back to its place, then pressing yourself up. We'll open those right fingertips all the way back up to the sky. Then coming back to center, we're gonna reach your right arm out in front of you. So instead of bringing the right hand down, we're gonna reach the right arm out. Shift your weight into the right leg and extend your left leg back. <clears throat> Tone the strength of your left leg, make it really straight and strong. As you reach your fingertips forward, try to lift through the strength of your core. Then we're going to inhale to lift your heart, lift your heel. Then we'll exhale and curl it into center. Good deep squeeze, elbow to knee. Then inhale and reach it long, stretch through the fingertips and the heel. This time we're going to bend into the left knee, reach back with your right hand. See if you can grab a hold of that foot. Then we'll slowly start to kick your left foot into your right hand, feeling a stretch across the front of your right chest. Then we'll slowly release everything back down to the floor. Coming back into that nice sturdy tabletop position. Okay, so once you have a moment to reset, we'll move through that little sequence on the second side. So coming back to neutral, we'll inhale and lift your left fingertips to the sky. So we start with the twist, then exhale and weave the left arm under, bringing your shoulder and your head all the way down to the floor. Press your right hand into the mat to help you get a deeper rotation in your spine. Once you maximize that twist, you can experiment with stepping the right foot off to the right side. And we wanna bring that right foot flat to the floor. 
so that you feel the stretch down the length of your right leg. Then we'll continue to push the right hand into the mat, deepening that rotation in your spine. You may reach the left fingertips even a little further across. Then we'll slowly come out, starting by bringing the right knee back down. Then we'll press and open the left fingertips all the way up towards the sky, full unwind. And then square your shoulders back to center and reach your left arm out in front of you. Then we'll shift the weight into your left knee and extend your right leg back behind you. Toning the strength of the right leg, lift through your core center, then we'll inhale, lift the heart, lift the heel, and exhale to curl it all in. Tucking your chin to your chest, rounding through your spine, then we'll inhale and reach it long, stretch, and as you exhale this time, we'll bend into the right knee, reach back with that left hand, see if you can grab your foot, then start to kick that foot back into your hand, feeling the stretch across your chest for three, two, one, then we'll gently release everything back down to the floor, then curl your toes under and press your hips high. Working your way towards downward facing dog, we'll slowly begin to pedal out your feet. Just bending one knee and then the other, gently stretching into the backs of your legs. So let yourself have a little free time here to move however it feels good to your body. So we're just pedaling out the feet, stretching into the legs. You can also tap into the stretch across your shoulders and your spine. So downward facing dog is a full body pose. So when you're ready, we'll begin to settle into the shape, reaching both heels down towards the earth as you press your palms into the mat then everything reaches up and out, reaching the hip bones and the sitting bones high. We lengthen the legs, lengthen the spine, lengthen the side body, then slowly start to walk your way forward, just one step at a time. You can go slowly and feel what each step has to offer. As you gently make your way forward, one step at a time. Life is like that, you know? We take it one step at a time, see what there is to learn in each moment. And we keep moving forward, little by little. So as you come into this forward fold, let's shift side to side, rocking back and forth shifting your weight from one foot into the other. Again, we're coming into that playful exploration, just allowing yourself to feel into the stretch, awakening your body. Ah. And then gently make your way back to center, folding down over your legs. We're gonna rotate your toes. 45 degrees open towards the sides. Inhale your breath and extend your heart forward, lengthening out through your spine. And as you exhale, slowly sink your hips down towards the earth, letting your hips sink low. Try to keep your heels connected to the earth as you work your way into this squat. You can keep your hands forward on the floor or challenge to bring your elbows to the insides of your knees. 
Then we'll press your knees apart, deepening that stretch in the inner thigh and the inner hip. Lift your heart, lengthen your spine. Take a deep breath in right here. Then place your left hand to the floor. If you're a little more flexible, you can actually wrap your left arm in front of your shin and place your left hand off to the side. If that's not working for your body today, don't worry about it. Just bring your left hand to the floor, okay? Then we're going to open your right fingertips to the sky. So we're in the squat and working into the twist. Take one breath here, find your own edge, then gently release back to center. We're doing one more side, then we'll come out of it. So hang in there with us. We're gonna bring the right hand down to the floor or maybe even off to the right side. Then we'll open your left hand to the sky, working your way into a twist, then slowly release back to center. Plant your hands on the mat and lift your hips to the sky, folding over your legs while you maintain that rotation. This allows you to access a little more stretch across the back of the hips, down the IT band, and down the lateral hamstring. So we're folding down here. Let your head be heavy, and you can always bend your knees as much as you need. Then we'll slowly rotate your toes back to center. So we're coming back to that parallel position. And again, you can shift your weight side to side. Or just let yourself explore a little bit, noticing how things are starting to shift and open up, finding more space, more movement in your body. Then slowly start to make your way back to center reaching the crown of your head down towards the floor. We deepen that forward fold, then slowly begin to roll yourself up to standing. So nice and easy, we slowly begin to unroll your spine, letting yourself slowly relax into your standing pose. So the head will be the very last thing to come up. As you come into this standing mountain pose, you can close your eyes for a moment and just observe, noticing the sensations, whatever it is that you feel. And we'll inhale and circle your arms up towards the sky. Reach up and out of your waist, hugging your belly in. Stretch your fingertips to the sky. Then we're going to grab your left wrist with your right hand and then cross that left leg behind you over towards the right. So we dig those left toes in over towards the right side. You've got your left wrist with your right hand. Begin to pull on that wrist and stretch through the whole left side body. You can bend a little bit into that right leg so you have some buoyancy and more stability. Then we'll just pull, pull, pull and stretch. Then slowly make your way back to center, nice and easy. Coming back to the feet on the earth, we'll reach your fingertips high, take a deep breath in. Then as you exhale, we'll move to the second side. Crossing those right toes to the left, grabbing your right wrist with your left hand, we begin to pull on that wrist. So it's not just arcing to the side, but we're actively pulling, engaging the strength of the left arm to maximize the stretch on the right side. For three, two, one, we'll slowly release back to center. Take one more inhale here, reach your fingertips high. And as you exhale, we'll circle your hands down and around, interlacing your hands at the base of your spine. Now, let your thumbs 
Rest on your hips. Let your elbows be slightly bent and we'll point those elbows back behind you. So we hug the elbows together. Hug your belly up and in too. So we're just engaging support through the core as you reach those elbows back. Begin to roll your shoulder blades together on your spine. Then we'll slowly start to reach your fists back away from your hips stabilizing through your legs just open your heart up towards the sky try and stabilize through your torso so it's just the chest rolling open towards the sky and slowly begin to fold yourself forward bringing your arms and hands back behind you relaxing your head down towards the floor as you reach those fists up and back stretching into your legs let your head be heavy let your head hang as you tune into gravity and stretch the chest and shoulders then gently draw your hands back down towards your hips release your grip and let your arms relax down to the mat. You could even take ragdoll here, grabbing opposite elbows, and just let yourself hang over your legs. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed this practice. If you'd like to enjoy the extended full-length flow, go ahead and click on the link in the description below.